Thank you. Arizona's attorney general says she's looking into ways to keep foreign companies from using far too much of Arizona's groundwater to grow feed for cows in the Middle East. Uh, KG 9's Craig Smith joins us now. And Craig, while most of the focus has been on Saudi company, uh, a Saudi company, a company from the United Arab Emirates is also operating water thirsty farms in Arizona. In a sunny state like Arizona, you can grow, cut and harvest alfalfa over and over through the year as long as you have plenty of water. Saudi firms have been in the spotlight for using huge amounts of Arizona groundwater to grow feed for animals in Saudi Arabia. But the Saudis are not the only ones. Cows in the Middle East can fatten up on alfalfa from fields in Arizona, west and northwest of Phoenix, but that takes colossal amounts of groundwater from deep under our deserts. The people who have regular wells around here, just regular people, they're ultimately going to have to drill a well to 550, 600 feet. That's going to cost the average individual seventy-five to hundred thousand dollars, and they can't afford it. They will leave. They will move away. Gary Sater runs the Wendon Domestic Water District. He says his wells are deep enough to keep serving customers, but he's alarmed at how far large farms have drawn down the water. He does not blame the Saudis or the companies from the United Arab Emirates. He says there are large U.S. owned farms dipping deep into Arizona's water, too. He says they are all legal under Arizona law, but that law is weak. Governor Katie Hobbs and Attorney General Chris Mays have worked to dry out some of the demand by finding legal ways to force companies out of some of the land leases. Mays says in some places, heavy pumping is making the ground sink enough to damage houses. She says she may use public nuisance laws to help those homeowners. These are people who were there first. They bought houses here. They, they in many cases, they, they spent their entire life savings to drill a well or to buy a house and then and then in comes the Saudis or in comes the Emiratis and they pump all the water out from underneath the ground. Gary Sater says the best solution is for Arizona's legislature to tighten up the state water law but it better happen soon because people are pulling water out of the ground three times faster than nature puts it back. Craig Smith, KGUN 9.